What's going on, brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Brother Harold, back again. Uh, do another book reading. By the way, here's the book. Here's the book we're reading out of and everything. Um, first of all, I just want to thank all y'all who uh, have subscribed to my YouTube channel and everything. Um, may we just continue to grow together and everything. Let me wind this music down a little bit, too. Get into this tonight, yeah. So we're gonna jump right on in, brothers and sisters. Where we at and everything. I hope y'all having a blessed week, getting ready for the holidays and stuff and everything. But we're dealing with kings and priests, kings and priests tonight. I'm gonna speak a little something on that. Um, out of Revelations, um, chapter one, verses eight or verses four two through eight. Um, the title of this would be Kings and Priests. Um often called cloud watchers, some of us have, it says, um, some people are cloud watchers, meaning they're watching the clouds. The Lord say that he is coming back in the clouds. He also say he is the Alpha and the Omega. If you have Jesus in your life, you don't need anything else. Let us wake up every morning and ask ourselves and ask the Lord if this is the day or you're coming, your return to fetch, to fetch us and take us back home. Then it goes into the scripture. It says, um, verse 4, The letter is from John to the seven churches in the providence of Asia. Grace and peace to you from the ones who is, who always, and who was, and who is still yet to come. From the sevenfold spirit, before the throne and from Jesus Christ. He is the faithful witness of these things. The first to raise from the dead and the ruler of all kings of the world. All glory to him who loves us and who have freed us from our sins by the shedding of his blood. He made us a kingdom and a kingdom a priest to God the Father, all the glory and power unto him. It says, look, he comes with the clouds of the heavens, and everyone will be seen. Everyone would see him, even those who pierced him. And all the nations of the world will mourn for him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord God. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still yet to come. The Almighty. Now with that, brothers and sisters, let's go back and elaborate a little bit. A couple things I want to point out. First of all, um, Jesus saying that he is, he always was, and he is still the one to come. So, in other words, Jesus telling us he always he always existed, you know, always was, and still he's yet one to come, and always will be. Then it goes on to talking about the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. See, Jesus is all that. He's the beginning and the end. Everything in between, he's everything. And I like when it says that um, with Jesus in your life, we don't need anything else. And that's that's right. That's that's right, brothers and sisters. When we got Jesus in our life, we we complete. We don't need anything else. But the main thing I want to want to catch on going with our title tonight is Him calling us, building us a kingdom. Therefore, we are kingdoms. We are kings and priests to God the Father, and all the glory and the power be to Him forever and ever. Amen. Now, dealing with the fact that He has made us. Kings and priests, brothers and sisters, by the shedding of his blood, you know, and that right there is really the main thing that we, we need, really need to understand as men, being made kings and priests. That's why I say even in our fellowship group, we talked about the fact, you know, being the priest of your home and everything, how we need to be the priest of our home, you know, be the kings of your home. You know, every king have a queen, you know what I'm saying? So, so with that, we know that through the shed blood, of Jesus Christ, he have made us this and making a kingdom for us. And we're priests to God be the Father. 
and the glory and the power is in him. Amen. Now, it says, look, comes with the cloud. Jesus coming with the cloud and everyone going to see him. Everyone going to be going to be hell him. You know, that's awesome. It's even think that, you know, the fact that all nations of the world at that time is going to mourn, going to go mourn for his coming. See, at that time, brothers and sisters, we need to understand that it's going to be a joyful time um, for some. And some going to mourn the fact that they don't know him. So you need to keep that in mind. That's why I pray, you know, and as I, I continue to read this book, you know, understanding that we're growing together. That's why I thank each and every one of each and every one of y'all for, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We can jump in this thing every week and read something, you know, and get a better understanding about it, talk about it, elaborate on it a little bit. You know, but the main thing, I'm going to leave y'all with this. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Lord says. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still yet to come. I am the Almighty One. I love it. I love it. So with that, brothers and sisters, I hope y'all have a blessed, you know, um, Christmas and everything. Brother Hagel, I'm trying to get back with y'all if it's God's will and everything. But y'all, you know, y'all keep up. Keep in touch with Brother Harold. You know, thank y'all for your text messages and all your uh, uh, your email stuff. And, and just showing that love to Brother Harold. Hitting me up every now and then. You know, if you feel want to drop a comment in the comment box, feel free to do so. Until next time, it's your boy Brother Harold. I'm out. Shalom, shalom.